this is Kamari and today we're going to be making Junko's bows. We're going to be making the bows from both versions, the Imposter and the Mastermind. So we're going to be making the hair bow for the Imposter and the bow that she wears pinned to her shirt in the Mastermind version. And if I haven't mentioned it before, I do have a Facebook page. I have them I have it linked in the comment section of the videos and you can follow there if you want to see previews of what I'm working on because I have progress pictures on there that for things that you don't see until it's finally completed as a video. For Junko's bow pin we're going to cut out two rectangles one for the base of the bow and then a little smaller one for the knot I'm using a red sparkle satin that I have left over from when I made Halloween Yukiko just because I thought a little bit of pizzazz might be something that Junko would like. As always, we're going to start by zigzagging around the edges. Next, fold your rectangles in half and sew along the side. Turn the large rectangle right side out and then press flat. Then take the piece and fold it so that the right sides are together so you're going to want the seam on the showing and then sew it together along the edge. Turn your loop right side out and now you have the base of your bow. Turn your smaller rectangle right side out and press flat. Fold over the edges of the rectangle and sew them down. Wrap the smaller rectangle around the bow and hand sew it closed, securing a safety pin to the back of it while you're at it. Now we're going to make Junko's hair bow. We're going to start by cutting two rectangles out of red fabric. One of the rectangles I zigzagged a piece of interfacing too, and the other one is just zigzagged around the edge. Next, putting right sides together, we're going to sew along the sides. Turn the red piece right side out and press flat. Next, do the same thing with the white fabric. Put the red and white pieces together and sew them along the sides. For the knot of the bow, cut two rectangles out of the white fabric, zigzag around the edges, then putting right sides together, you're going to sew them together along the longer sides. Turn the knot right side out press flat, then fold each side over and sew them down. Loop the knot around the center of the bow, sliding it through a barrette, and then hand sew the two sides of the knot together. And with that, Junko's bows are done. For more Junko tutorials, please subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for any characters you'd like to see a tutorial for, please comment below. Thank you!